My life in Christchurch. Have you ever had to stop a toilet from exploding? Have you ever had to run away from a giant salami? Four years ago, this was my life. I lived in Christchurch when the earthquakes came. We got to camp inside our own house for more than a month. Imagine pillow fights every night, lounge filled with bouncy mattresses, dinner, lunch and breakfast cooked on the barbecue. Guess what? Supermarkets were all empty as there was no food to put in them. We were okay, mum and dad were prepared and we had everything we needed. We did stink a little without running water at home for if I wanted a shower, we had to drive down the road and line up for the shower truck. We were... Uh, I started screaming when the engine turned on, because I thought I was going to drive away with me still having a shower. Naked! With no toilet, we had to dig a long drop in our front garden. We will never guess, but before we got to use it, we found that a guinea pig had fallen in it. Luckily, Dad got it out before he even peed on it. After the first earthquakes, we'll go for drives and visit people and see how they were. With all the broken pipes, there was water everywhere. It was a bit scary when you, you drove through them. As you never knew if there was a giant hole under it. Some cars got swallowed up and the people had to climb out of the windows and onto the roofs. We didn't have to. And my dad's car got stuck in liquefaction. That's a that comes up from the ground and it gets all shaken up. He spent hours digging it out. Another man from another help on a digger. I turned five, but I couldn't start school because it was a munted school. As after a while, it was relocated to the other side of town. Three years later, it still doesn't have a proper home. While our house was getting fixed, we lived in a van for two months. It was great because the toilet was and we finally had electricity. We, when we were camping, we had the biggest snowstorm in a hundred years. I got two days off school, building snowmen and having snowball fights and sledding. One day we got to go and watch a building getting blown up by TNTs. It was munted and couldn't be fixed. When it came down, it shot the ground and made heaps of dust. It was awesome! Because we lived by the beach, after every big earthquake, we had to drive away quickly in case of a giant salami. My sister was only three, so she couldn't say tsunami. Our toilet nearly exploded! The underground pipes were all broken, so some men came to suck them clean. But sometimes it pushed everything backwards into your house. With strong tape and some bricks kept our toilet seat stuck down. Imagine coming home and finding a toilet fountain in your bathroom. Ooh, that was my life in Christchurch. Thank you.